I awoke to the sound of the baby monitor crackling with a voice confusing my firstborn child. As I adjusted to a new position, my arm brushed against my wife, sleeping next to me. Growing up with cats and dogs, I got used to the sound of scratching at my door while I slept. Now that I live alone, it is much more unsettling. Working the night shift alone tonight, there is a face in the cellar staring at the security camera. I woke up to hear knocking on glass. At first I thought it was the window, until I heard it come from the mirror again. She asked why I was breathing so heavily. I wasn't. They celebrated the first successful cryogenic freezing. He had no way of letting them know he was still conscious. I can't sleep, she whispered, crawling into bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was buried in. The grinning face stared at me from the darkness beyond my bedroom window. I live on the 14th floor. Sleep did not come to me easily that night in the cabin in the woods, for the portraits on the wall only portrayed the deformed, the decrepit and the damned. Sleep has never come easily to me ever again, for when I woke, I found no portraits, only windows. <laughs>